Hi friends, this is Debbie here. I'm so glad that you tuned into my channel today. I've got something really, really exciting to share with you. Um, I constructed this wreath this weekend, and this is what I'm actually calling my butterfly princess wreath. And what little girl doesn't want to be a princess? I tell you what, I was really excited when this one started coming together. I had no idea it was going to actually go down this path. Um, but with a lot of thought, because it actually started out as a recovery wreath, but the more I got to doing it, the more it just turned into just something really wonderful. And the reason I'm saying it's really, something really wonderful is because there's a lot of symbolism behind this wreath, and I just want to take a second and explain to you the symbolism behind this. I actually started with a 14-inch basic wreath right here. Um, the reason I chose this little small wreath is because I'm using um, the circle as um, the symbolism of the journey of life. I took that and from there I constructed the centerpiece and the centerpiece represents the foundation. Jesus is the foundation of life and um, in this journey of life I have Jesus at the center. The next thing that I chose for this wreath was I chose um, 10 by 10 white mesh and um, I'm sorry I don't have any to use. I used my last roll in this one. Uh, this is a larger size. You can use the larger size. Um, it just tends to make a much fluffier style wreath and we're just using the basic um, mesh technique that I've got a video downloaded on how to do a basic mesh wreath. I'm not going to go through that process in this video but um, I did use the white mesh and I went around the back of it and then did gold here at the bottom. The reason I chose white is because white is symbolic of the washing away of sins. That once we receive Jesus Christ into our life, our sins are washed away. I've used butterflies as the next thing. And the reason I chose butterflies is because butterflies are symbolic um, of new life, a new beginning. And a lot of times in recovery, that's um, what a lot of people use. Um, just representing a new start in life. So in this journey of life, we've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. He's washed away our sins and He's given us a new life. And this is representing our new birth. Um, the next thing that I used um, in this little section right here, I had some scrap pieces left over from a project. And I was really excited about this part of the project because I had no idea it was going to go down the path that it actually did. But this was actually just scrap pieces that I had. I actually had them in a garbage bag, um, pressed down in some boxes. Stuff got thrown on top of it. I was actually getting ready to throw it away. And um, I just had this thought and this idea to come to me to go ahead and try to use it and make something out of it instead of uh, tossing it. And um, when I did, it really turned out very beautiful. Actually, I think the uh, scrap pieces actually work better than just something off, straight off the roll. And um, like I said, that just ended up to being another piece of the puzzle and uh, just more symbolism going on in this wreath. And um, I'm going to share a little clip with you about that in just a second. But also you're going to need a crown. Um, you can pick these up from most any craft store, Walmart. Um, they're real easy to find, especially this time of year. And um, what I did was with the gold here down at the bottom, the gold is representative of that once we finish this journey of life, that... Um, if we stay faithful and true, that we're going to be one day rewarded with the crown of life. And once we get that crown of life, we can take this crown of life and put it at the foot of Jesus. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. Like I said, it has a lot of symbolism behind it and a lot of personal meaning. And um, I'm really just in love with this wreath. And I thought it would just make such a wonderful gift. Um, to give somebody who is in a recovery program. It would also make a beautiful gift for somebody who has just been saved. Um, this wreath you can also use for somebody who, who just loves to be a princess. So it has a lot of symbolism behind it and a lot of meaning. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. Um, and I hope that you'll take this idea and use it for your own, put your own little twist on it and share it with others. Because like I said, it ended up to be something really special. And um, I've enjoyed it, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I constructed it. Okay, to begin this project, we're going to start with a 14-inch wreath, um, a circle wreath. And um, what we're going to be doing here is taking this wreath. And uh, this wreath actually kind of has a lot of symbolic meaning. Uh, for starters, you know, a, a complete circle means healing, completeness, wholeness. Um, and for this project, we're going to be using it as um, a symbolism of like the journey of life. 
You're also going to need a centerpiece. I'm using this little wooden centerpiece. Um, I have some that are oval. I have some that are circles um, for your centerpiece. And then I picked up these little um, stickers here from the Dollar Tree. They had all kind of different sayings and stuff on it. And this one says Jesus on it. And uh, for this project, this is what I'm wanting um, for my centerpiece. So um, I've got one already in process. Let me walk you over here and show you it. It's actually a circle one that I'm painting pink so I can get ready to put those um, letters on. This is the one right here that I'm waiting to dry. And once it's dry, I'm going to put my lettering on it. You are also going to need at least um, four butterflies. And the coloring doesn't really matter. I mean, you can choose what color you want. In my case, I'm using the pinks and the purples. And then you're also going to need um, three rolls of ribbon. This is the color choice that I've chosen for this uh, particular wreath. I'm going to be using pinks and purples. And um, I always like to try to use um, at least one of these ribbons to try and have um, one that has some wire in it. That's a wire ribbon, which is this one right here. And then I've used two of these others. So, um, But you can mix and match the ribbons as you would like. You're also going to need um, a crown to go with this, and um, I happened to pick this one up at Walmart. Um, I think you can find these most anywhere. I think right now, um, being that it's close to Halloween, the Dollar Tree's carrying them in there for Halloween costumes and so forth, but you can pick these up for little or nothing. And I'm pulling out, I've got gold 10 by 10 mesh now, because what I'm going to be doing with gold is I'm going to take the gold and I'm going to be filling this in here and we're going to be breaking it up a little bit. And for this project, I'm going to be using some scraps that I had. These, This right here is some old mesh that I had um, just left over. They're just leftovers from what I had from previous projects that I had done. And I had taken them and I had put them in a garbage bag and um, then through as time passed and so forth, all of this mesh kind of got put in a box. Things got put on top of it, smashed. I mean, it has just been treaded on, smashed. And a lot of it, as you can see, it just, it's all frayed. I mean, really and truly, I thought about just taking it and throwing it all away because, I mean, it, it really looks like it's useless, like it... I mean, it's no good like there's nothing else that can be done with it I mean look at it it's it's awful and um, but I got to thinking I said you know what I said I bet with just a little bit of um, tender love and care and just take and prune it back and do some just cut it a little bit and get the fray and all off of it that I could probably do something with it and um, that's what we're going to be using in this project here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start taking these and then I'm um, just cutting off the ends and pruning them back and seeing if I can get them fluffy again. As you can see, I'm going to start taking these pieces and um, I'm going to start cutting and trimming back all of these rough edges, kind of like a healing process. You know, in life, sometimes we have to uh, get pruned and trimmed back. We're going to just cut those edges and smooth them out a little bit more. This one's got some real rough edges around it. And just all everywhere, everywhere, <laughs> all over the place. But we're just going to go and just give it a little snip here and there. Okay. They do. They've got all these. They want to go in every direction. I mean, there's. They're all over the place. They're a mess. Take all of these and of course that one's 
not quite as bad. It's just really structured there. Let's get this one. There we go. Bending down a little bit more. We're going to take these and just bind them all together here. Twist them in there. take our pipe cleaner right there get them twisted there all together look at that it's coming together nicely it's looking really pretty and then for the next step we'll take the butterfly and then secure it nicely on top of it we're going to do four of these for our project. Okay, and this is what the bundle is looking like now. I'm telling you, it's really exceeded my expectations. Um, it, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. And um, being that these were scrap pieces that were all just trampled upon and just frayed and all, they seem to just be so vibrant and full. And um, they've actually come out a lot fluffier than the ones that were just on the roll. I mean that, you know, the ones that I usually use that just come straight off of the roll, they have much more fluff and bounce to them. And I think this is going to work really wonderful for this project. You're also going to need um, a crown. I chose the crown because once we... Um, are going along on our journey of life and then we get to the end of our journeys and um, we've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior and we're walking in the journey of life and overcoming life's obstacles and um, we're staying faithful and so forth that one day we're going to be given and rewarded the crown of life so that is what the crown is symbolic of and I put it in here and put it down in the gold because one day we're going to be able to take this crown of life and we're going to be able to place it at the foot of Jesus. So this is what I'm calling my butterfly princess wreath.